Oh. Hello, Internet. This is Robot and... Don Wancho. And Cody Vector. And we're bringing you a PVZ here on the Daybreak Ladder Edition. In the bottom left, we've got the Blue Zerg, uh, Yumalicious. And in the top right, we've got Ponzug, who is helping with the Blitzkrieg today. <laughs> oh, uh, Ponzug. We are coming for you, <laughs> Ponzug. <laughs> Goodness gracious. <laughs> Never gets old. All right, so Don Wancho, why don't you tell us about where you got this replay and what exactly we're doing here. Yeah, so this is kind of like a casting slash analysis of this game. I posted this game on r slash all things Zerg. That's Reddit, if you guys don't know. So we're just going to be kind of helping out Pan Zerg, telling him what to do. It looks like he's kind of sending out four drones at once. Uh, a little interesting, and I believe he is uh, high platinum, and his part or his opponent is diamond. Was he? Did he just send four drones out to try and snipe yeah, that drone? Yeah, he must have a know. moved them. Okay, so moved or if, like if that. we're uh, helping him out, I would say don't do this. That's uh, the first help I would. I'm suggest. gonna see what he's doing because maybe this could be something awesome. So his <laughs> thing was uh, something about the meta game. For yeah, dude, this is hella meta game, bro. Uh, yeah. What the that even mean? So it looks like Protoss has his five drones That's ready. That's the metagame, bro. They send four drones to, to send five probes, man. I guess so. But, you know what? Four drones can take out any building that's building. If you pull four. I believe that's true. I don't know. I think I heard that somewhere. So he's going, going to work right. on this pylon right here. This is kind of weird. I guess he's kind of throwing them off. He yeah, he pulled six drones. He was only supposed to pull five. That's the meta yeah, game. That's the whole meta game right there. So Zerg, a little micro Zerg, going on. I'm, I'm gonna just call it right Ooh. now. Zerg wins. Ooh. So looks like we still have no losses. Some good <laughs> micro right here. Uh, we had a ton of loss on mining time. Let's we not oh that. yeah, well let's you know, I have let's no not, idea. Let's what not the forget about that. that. He just walked all the way across the map with like a quarter of his army or a quarter of his working force. Yeah. Just to harass a, a yeah. crystal and then run away. And what? He's stealing a, a gas. Uh, this is this. Now, guy. And now, and now Yummy Licious. Our uh, last game we cast was Zergalicious. Was the Proton. Yeah. <laughs> yummy Licious yeah. is stealing gas. Yeah, I gotta say, even though we're we're trying to help the Zerg out, that makes no sense to steal the gas like that. Yeah. Um, but well, the pulls can, up the Zerg now. Well, we can say it, it looks like both sides here. Fan. Forge fast expand kind of getting up He's on the Protoss side, although I don't think he should have. He sh I don't think he should have put the gateway and the cannon down first. All he saw was drones. Uh, I'm pretty sure he had a scout that saw that the pool was, you know, relatively yeah. regular. Time. Yeah. Uh, so I'm not quite sure what Panzerg is thinking right now. Um, I mean, generally, as Zerg, you want to get up three bases right away, three mining bases, and while I was going roaches already. Roach. So, yeah, and off one base, this is like, yeah. just like, kind of like, this is almost like bad cheese. Yeah, I hate these Roach all-ins when I play against t Zerg. Yeah, this is definitely Roach all-in, even though if Pan Zerg isn't meaning it to be that way, it's definitely coming across that way. What I yeah, and for me as a Protoss, even though it's kind of a weird start, but if you're at like, if you're getting to five minutes and they haven't taken your pylons out and they're not yeah, you know. uh, expanding it, I mean, <laughs> you're looking to try to scout what's going on and be safe and throw some extra uh, pro uh, cannons. Bleh, Broton cannons. Oh, yeah, up. I'm really surprised. I'm only he seeing one. Some cannons. Ho hopefully, we'll see a few more and probably, hopefully, uh, um, we'll see a, a, a tasteless py uh, pylon here soon. Yeah, it looks like we have about four. No. Seven, eight. No, I guess I just look on production tab. We have seven roaches being made, so it looks like it's a hey, seven roach on, rush. Bro, the tasteless Whoa, pylon. We're talking to each other. What the fuck are we doing? Says Yummy Licious. <laughs> I don't. Uh, it's a good question. And I guess he decides to have the cannons on the outside. I guess that's kind of weird. Comes a roach all. ZVP in. meta. Man, what does that even mean? How are you Throw tired of ZVP meta? You're tired of losing or winning? It's like, you know, this guy is definitely not, uh, uh, what's that guy name? Winning? He's not, uh, oh, Charlie Sheen? not Charlie Sheen, yeah. So apparently that's, <laughs> we definitely know that Pan Zerg is not Charlie Sheen. You just locked, uh, no, you Yeah, lock so you just, you get like a bunch of roaches, and, uh -oh. but you gotta get come. all three bases. That's the key gotta, to this matchup. You don't lose roaches straight away, you'll get one down. Yeah. 
So, but I got to wonder why why did uh, Yamalik just build the the photon cannons on the outside of the wall? You could build them on the inside of the wall. Ah, uh, you got me. Because then, if they're on the inside of the wall, then the roaches can snipe the buildings without getting hit by the. Uh, that's well. Okay, another right. part of this. Um, this. So uh, I actually guys have a, some a, roaches getting in here, and actually, you know, that's not too bad. He can maybe take out this nexus right here, and. Not too bad, but he, I think he could have done pretty much a very similar thing, having getting an earlier second base, and he'd have just a huge economy yeah. right now. Whereas right yeah. now he's kind of playing catch up. Um, something I was gonna say is that I had kind of a hard time with roach rushes at one point in my career, and uh, one thing that you want—I mean, obviously you want a bunch of cannons if you see it coming, but you also want to get a uh, stalker out as soon as possible because with a small amount of roaches, you can. Uh, micro a stalker mm -hmm. to, to really give him a hard time to where you can like cause a lot of trouble for five roaches probably basically kill them all if you've got you know proton cannon photon broton proton cannon, cannon packing you up wow and it takes you, out that nexus hiding the roach am i correct <laughs> yeah so <laughs> it looks like the zerg's now in like a pretty good position right here i mean two bases versus one what yeah. zerg wouldn't want that much more money yep much yep general. uh 29 workers to 24 right now and 43 overall supply versus the and and protoss is getting out so i'm why doesn't he attack with all his roaches instead of just this one i'm not quite sure what's going on here he is getting out those stalkers and the stalkers are going to be able to to oh. deal with these roaches yeah. Tactical nice. error there the roaches. Yeah. so i guess so i think maybe his uh, no he's getting just eaten up by those cannons right there and all the roaches go down i was going to say he possibly could have run into the main and started attacking the probes down there but i think those cannons nah, would have just enough. chewed them up even without yep. you know even regardless of whatever else happened probably would have been better to just try to escape after the uh uh, uh nexus uh, went down to try to save uh, i think too. he would have probably lost there too i don't mind him just staying there and just delaying that that nexus you know it's an interesting build and uh, it looks like Zerg's making it work, so I got to give it to him for that. I think, hey, you know, just make make more drones right now. Just drone up like crazy. Looks like he's going for Spire now. Uh, I like that. I like getting Spired. I think it's a fun thing to do. You have just a ton of Mutalisk, and you can just attack everywhere. You can, you know, they can't, uh, Protoss can't move out because he's going to lose. He's going to lose his entire base to a bunch of Mutas and some Lings. Yeah, mutas are definitely very annoying as a Protoss. Yep. So it looks like we have a little poke in here, but he looks like he's really going to try to do some damage with two stalkers and one zealot. Yeah, I mean, taking yeah, out a uh, couple Taking out some workers, so yeah. I mean, that's that's doing damage. I think he could have that queen in there, just kind of give him a little give him a little harassment. At least wait till he gets, like, to half his health before you just run away. But is he going to take the spire out? It's he's getting really, really trying close. to take that spire out. Oh, and cancel it. Ooh, yep, he does cancel it, and that's we have, we have the opposite of just what what just happened with Protoss. Yeah, we you know, have, well, probably not as bad, by, by far. probably not a good place to put a spire. Just gonna yeah. say that all right in front on your expo. Like, and I, it was yeah, a good idea to for Protoss to click on it because if you didn't click on it, it, might just look like a spine crawler building because they are they are a little smaller. Yeah, and for sure. Zuri is finally able to take that fourth gas of his second one at the main. Still staying on two bases, which, as a Zerg, you really don't want to do that against a Protoss. You want to make sure you get those three bases up. This is a unusual game, just the way that it's played out. I think it's it's about even. I, I actually might even give a slight advantage to the Zerg right now, especially if he took a third base, because he can do it. Yeah. Uh, all Protoss has is two sentries and one immortal. He's and Zerg is just banking up tons of minerals. You might as well throw down a macro hatch, a uh, macro hatchery, and take this third. So that that's a very key thing. You actually want to take that third at like five minutes, unless you're trying that cheese. So it, either way, I'd like to see it a little earlier. Yeah, all I can say is that I think the Zerg definitely has the advantage. Yeah. Still. Yeah, definitely. Oh, definitely. Looks like 107 versus 53, and way more money. We have a uh, dark shrine going down, though. The uh, classical sign yeah, of uh, desperation. And, but we already have an overseer, so I wonder is he gonna just 
figure just warp those in anyway and just see if he can get lucky. Well, we will see. Looks like we have some roaches moving out here. He's going to try to put on a little bit more pressure. Just had plus one finish. And look at that. Yeah, those cans are on the outside. They just die so quickly to this mass roach. Like you said, probably not the best idea. Going to take out that forge. Yep. If something was being upgraded, it would stop it from being upgraded. Yep. Some some good yeah these roaches snapped. they can just take yeah. out that forge even though he's not upgrading anything it is good just to take out just so you yeah there's not yeah there's not so good well micro right and these DTs I wonder if he just doesn't notice that but yeah uh where's that overseer that overseer is gonna meet up with them and he should be able to snipe those DTs and as he does but he's able to cut down on a good amount of the roaches just with those those force fields. I gotta say, those are some really good force fields. Just got a little out of position. So we have him focusing down. We want to take out that immortal. Oh, that immortal gets. Oh, that immortal. He's at seven health. Oh, there he is. And he goes out, takes out the archon. We just have a stream of roaches rushing in here, and I think that Panzerg is gonna take this. I don't see how Protoss can hang on right here. He's, he has this immortal trap, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. So, weird weird start to it. Uh, I think the Zerg could, could improve upon things, but hey, it looks like he's going to win this game uh, unless something drastic happens. Uh, still, though, you have all these minerals. Really hit those injects. Ne need a macro hatchery. Really get out a macro hatchery and get out some more expansions. Even if you don't, <laughs> rather than cheese, even if you don't like the matchup, I don't know. I I think it's fun. I think if you don't like a matchup, it's, you know, is it the game that you don't like or what? I guess I just don't quite understand that. I, mean, I guess it could be annoying. Dropping a BM uh, <laughs> hatchery there. <laughs> Manor hatch. Uh, this is no cheese. No cheese. by no metagame cheesy. anyways. And, uh, you know it. Yep, it does look like there's a little VM going on here. Yeah. We just have more roaches streaming in. Man, you don't like the metagame, but you're just getting tons of roaches. I think that is kind of like the metagame right now. Yeah, really. At least what I like. Oh, we have the the manor hatch. <laughs> no GG. <laughs> uh uh, class act right there. I gotta say, well done, Panzerg. I think the robot approves of that. Sure. So, all right, cool. Thanks for sending us the game, Donbot. Yep. Signing out. Peace.